be talking about the power of connection and how it can help you with your mental state. Uh, from the National Alliance on Mental Illness, Orange County chapter, I want to welcome Arna Vodenos to our program. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me back because there is nothing as healing as the power of connection. That's what I was going to say. You know, one of the things that I think so many people, when you hear them having mental health issues or just depression and those kinds of things, is that they don't have connections. They are isolated in some way. You know, and the isolation, it affects your entire body. Mm -hmm. um, it doesn't only cause depression, but anxiety comes mm -hmm. on. We get in our thoughts without connection. Mm -hmm. We start having catastrophic thoughts, loneliness, and that is why connection is what the NAMI Orange County Warm Line is all about. Mm -hmm. And I'm so glad to share it because what happens when the brain has that connection, a wonderful chemical called dopamine comes in the body and it alleviates adrenaline which is really comes from that anxiety state of being alone, being in fear. So connection really creates longevity. And there are a lot of studies about that too, mm -hmm. having that support. And sometimes we don't have family around. They live very far away, but you know, we're just one call away to pick up and call the NAMI Orange County warm line and you can have the immediate emotional support. Mm -hmm. Now we think of adrenaline as something that you know, people use with their, their heightened state of whatever it might be, but anxiety, like you're saying, and depression can, can get that fight or flight adrenaline going even though there's nothing going on in terms of actual physical danger, right? Exactly, and sometimes I'll say to someone, sort of as a joke, look out the back part of your window, is there a saber-toothed tiger there? <laughs> and the reason is, when we were cavemen, we needed that for survival, mm -hmm. but there's no saber-toothed tigers. Mm -hmm. But we still have that primitive part of our brain that will emit adrenaline mm -hmm. so that we can f have fight, flight, or freeze, and freeze response is play dead. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people walk around with anxiety and depression, and connection will alleviate it. Yeah. And, and the, one of the challenges with that is it can, uh, without that connection, without reaching out, without getting help, it can lead to suicide. And it can I lead am to suicidal so, thoughts at least. Yes, and that is the truth. And, you know, one, one reason I really wanted to be here, I'm here as part of honoring the World Suicide Prevention Day. That is September 10th, 2024. It's important for everyone to recognize that the NAMI Orange County Warm Line, it is a buffer. And what makes it a buffer is where we call it in the world of suicide prevention, protective factor, is there's immediate emotional support. Mm -hmm. And I really would like quickly to explain how the Warm Line is a protective factor. Number one, it gives that immediate emotional support, mm -hmm. a safe place for individuals to talk about their feelings. Now, when you talk about your feelings, immediately there is that elimination of isolation. And guess what? Hope comes out of it. Yeah. And the anxiety level, I imagine, kind of levels off or at least maybe plateaus or maybe goes down a little bit because you're, you're communicating your anxieties, right. your fears, and your concerns with someone and there's a connection there. There's that human connection, which is so important. So when you start talking about feelings, immediately anxiety starts, like you said, at least leveling off because the truth is about anxiety. It can stay in your body for a while. The mm -hmm. reason is if a wild animal were to come into the studio right now and you already were activated, we could still run out of here. Mm -hmm. That's why anxiety doesn't immediately go away, but it starts, like you said, leveling off, getting better. And the key is being heard. Again, I think we've spoken about this before and feeling that sense of hope and another benefit of the warm line is the non-judgmental listening and that compassionate ear without judgment is everything 
because so many of us are afraid to talk to family and friends because we feel we may be judged or misunderstood. Yeah. And, and I think for a lot of residents, maybe in our community here, um, they, they've lost connection. Maybe a spouse has died, they had a spouse, or maybe they're just, they've moved here, but their, their children will visit or grandchildren will visit as much, and they feel isolated. Then they feel like, well, they don't want to talk to me, I, and maybe I shouldn't reach out to them, right? And there may be some barriers. So this can be a great phone line for people to just say, I just need to talk to somebody. Right. And the beauty, it's any time of night. Mm -hmm. You know, 24 seven, and we have other languages. We have Spanish, we have Farsi, we have Vietnamese. We even have a Korean speaker on the weekend. So the beauty of that also in reference to suicide prevention is that we have a way to discuss problems before they escalate. We have the resources also. Let's say someone calls in who is actively suicidal. We know what to do. Mm -hmm. We know what to do. Uh, we can send them over to what's called a warm transfer to 988 right away. And let's say they don't want to be transferred. Our shift supervisors are trained to de-escalation for oh, suicidal okay. crisis. So we are a warm line. We are different than a hotline. And by the way, if anybody out here is feeling actively suicidal, call 988. Mm -hmm. And if you're having just suicidal ideation even, give us a call at the warm line. If you're afraid to call 988, you can call us. We're here for you. Mm -hmm. And you know, you hear so many stories about people at, on, a, on, a, on a bridge or something like that and they are feeling these things and someone just comes up and says hello. Oh and so, God. how are you doing? Are you okay? Yeah. And, and that person, you hear these stories about that person decided not to, because someone, con someone just said hello and they, they, they cared enough to say that, something. That is so true. I also have the benefit. I work on 988 as a volunteer, mm -hmm. so I'm able to really be able to understand the bridge mm -hmm. or these kind of moments. And I can tell you, that after that callers de-escalate, I send them to the warm line because they need that suicidal caller, they need the constant connection. Right. And we have so many different people answering the phone, they can get so many perspectives. We don't tell people what to do, we help them in a safe place go inside and figure it out for themselves. Fantastic. Well, Arna Madonas from the National Alliance of Mental Illness, Orange County Chapters, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for talking about the warm line and making sure people have an outlet to make sure they can get some help if they need it. Thanks for right. joining us. Thank you so much. Great being back here. You're watching This Day. We'll be right back with the Monday Movie Preview.